video, I'm going to show you how to use a subquery. And what do I mean by subquery? I mean a query inside another query. In other words, I use the results of the first query and I run my second query. So we're going to look at scenarios where this is applicable. For example, to demonstrate what I want to demonstrate to you, is I have a data set of fruits, quantity, unit cost, and total cost. And our objective here is to get the fruits whose sum of the quantities is more than four. So there's an apple there. If you run down, you find another apple here. So we need to sum them up, then be check whether the quantity of that sum is greater than four. Now, if I wanted to use the first, uh, if I wanted to use one query, you will observe that this one will not work. Let me demonstrate to you why it will not work. So I'll pick the data. Then my second argument is the query function where I select A. A is the fruit. And I'm interested in the sum of B, which is the of B, which is my quantities. So when I do that, uh, I need to group by because I'm doing an aggregation. Group by fruits. So when I do that, what it happens is it goes and sums the quantities of the fruits and gives me a unique list of the fruits and the sum of the quantity. Now, a single query cannot give us the right result because if you want the single query, what we'll have to do is we'd have to come here and say where sum B, which is the quantity, is greater than four. And this one cannot work. Now, because this cannot work, that's where the subquery comes in. So let's see how we can use the subquery. Now, the subquery is going to run on the results of my first query, which is this. So the results of the first query will be my data. Let me cut that. Then I run another query. My result will be from the first query, which I control paste there. Then my select statement is going to be select. Now we depend on column. We don't say A, B. Uh, when we are running a subquery, I'm going to say column one, meaning that is the first column. Then column two, which is the second column, and ensure the first letter is capital, otherwise you're going to get an error. Then we say the column that contains our quantity, which is column two, must be greater than four. So I have one header, close my brackets, and there you go. So all that is returned is the fruits whose quantity, some quantities are greater than four. You can always come here and if you change it to greater than six, do like so, you see we get greater than six. So this is how we can use a subquery, a query inside running as on the results of another query. Now, that's the first example. Let's look at the second example. In the sec second example, we want the fruit source quantity is greater than five and total cost is greater than five. So again, I cannot do it in one query as I demonstrated. I'll have to run two queries. The first query will have to give me won't select the fruits, which is in A. I need the sum of the quantity, which is in B. I'll need the sum of 
the total cost, which is in D. And I'm going to say group group by a comma d. I have one column and I press enter. Now when you do that, the result we get, you observe that it is summing up the quantities and the total cost and giving gas the result. Now, after this stage, it's very easy for us now to go to our second query where we want uh, greater than five quantity being greater than five and the total cost being greater than five. So what we do, this will be our data, results of the first query. Then we write another query and the data will be the, the results from this query, comma, then we do our select statement, which is select, as I said, now you use column, you don't use column one, column two, which is our quantity, column three, which is our total cost. Then we say where our quantity, which is in column two, is greater than five, and our total cost, which is in column three, is greater than five. Close our quotes, we have one header, and there you go. There is an error. I think I put a dot here instead of a comma. And press enter. There you go. You get the fruit whose quantity is greater than five and total cost greater than five. So if I change this to three and this one to three, then you get the number of fruits whose quantity and total costs are both greater than three. So that's how we can use a subquery. Remember you do it in steps. I get the data and uh, of the first query, then based on that query, you run the second query. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like the video, share, give me your comments. If you have any challenge, I'll be happy, ready to help and see you in the next video. Don't forget to have a great day.